Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the dial finish down to 286, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's off 38. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the second hour. And, folks, uh, as you come over to TF, don't forget, Basil does an outstanding program here. Every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, the way you get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit Newsletters. As you hit newsletters, you're going to see the opening call right there, right in the top line. You hit view, you can hit subscribe, and you can get Basil's letter for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173 at 22%. You can get it for a year at $995, a savings of $541 or at 35%. Now, as you're over to TFNN, if you want to pile on, which would be a beautiful thing, uh, we have a semi-annual tiger dollar sale we do this a couple times a year it seems to always about kind of memorial day and basically you know christmas the way the tiger dollar sale works is that tiger dollars are good for all product at tfnn have no expiration date totally transferable and you get either if you buy 500 dollars in tiger dollars you get a 20 percent bonus you get an additional hundred dollars to spend if you buy a thousand you get a 30 percent bonus or 1300 300 extra if you spend $1,500, which is the max, you get $2,100, which is a $600 bonus, um, off 40%. If you have any products at TFNN right now, you're looking to get any great way to save a great amount of money. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing there? I'm doing good. Yourself? Very good. Looking forward to the long weekend. Yeah, that's right. And you get some good weather, right? We're going to have some really good weather. At least I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be that's good great. weather because we deserve it. No, that's, for, that's a fact, no doubt. So the weather in the market. Let's talk about the weather in the market. So the weather in the market. So we've spoken about the weather. Now we're talking about the market. So the rain was coming down for weeks and weeks and weeks. And now the for the past many weeks, since the 23rd of, J of A uh, April, with the Dow at 26,695, which is 300 points off the all-time high from October, uh, it just couldn't get going, and there was what we call a peak D. I'll just really quickly do this. Uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're looking for patterns, and the first pattern we look for is to identify the lowest low bar that can start a buy signal that can go to a buy mode. We merely look for four successively higher peaks, alphabetize them on the way up, A, B, C, D, uppercase, and it can go to E, F, and G, but D, the fourth highest peak, is where other things can happen. I always look at the market saying there are only three directional moves. There's straight up or straight down. There is an arch or a curve, and sometimes you can get a mix of the two, but it's still the same pattern. So this H, what I call the dreaded H, because if you take out this left side low, it could go a lot lower. That's what we were talking about, and I spoke to you about this uh, last week, and what I said is, we have a sell signal. We got a sell signal in the in the Dow. It was actually the day before the peak D high on the 22nd. We got that sell signal. 23rd was the high. We've taken a little profits, and we're still in a position, short position. Now, you see then the Dow daily on the left side. You see this arch formation here, and there's something I call the left side, right side price time mesh. And this came down from the high that was made on the 23rd in a much quicker time frame to the 26,000. 222 level, which took out the low that was made right there on the 25th of March at 22, I believe it was uh, 22, 372. So what happened is there's now a bounce. And I, I spoke to you about this 14 period moving average over the last couple of days. I've yes. made it nice and thick and black. Yeah. So as you can see how it, it, it really is like a barrier. It's like a repellent zone. I call it a repellent zone. And it, for four out of five sessions, the Dow tried to get above that line, and it couldn't. And then the last one was yesterday, and now we've come down sharply underneath the 200-period moving average, but we closed above it. So this next arch formation, this is what I call the dreaded H, that's what we're looking for, because in the next couple of days, if it takes out 25,222 low, we've got to see how it does it. Do I get any signals here to say that there's perhaps a turnaround uh, with a bounce back? Uh, it's going to be very important. And on the upside, once again, we've got this 14-period moving average of 25,827. And you can see the weekly chart is making a little arch formation here, stopped at the 14-period moving average. The black line couldn't get through it. 
but has held this little uptrend line. So those are important. We also, we for the subscribers, we're also short the SMEs, the semiconductor index. Look at this big arch formation. It's the same, same uh, methodology. In this one, we had a left side which took the low of 103.99, made on the 28th of March, to the high of all-time high of 120.71 at peak D on the 24th of April. And we've come down. We went one bar extra to break that low of 1399. We did that four days ago, tried to bounce, hit the nine period moving average, and now it's come down to the 99. And actually, the low today was 9850. So you can see from the technicals, it's really close to at least some kind of a bounce. Unfortunately, the stochastic's still flat at 9%. So how the semis bounce is going to be very important. I think semis are uh, very tied to the Qs, the NDX 100, and tied to the XLK, which is the S&P uh, uh, tech sector. So to to go with all this, I, I thought I'd also mention that I'd spoken on my show about crude oil and crude oil. I said I like to look at crude oil as a positive, like the transportation if, index. If the three are going together, the Dow industrials, the Dow transports, and the crude oil, for a while that's been a good sign. And if they start to come down together, which they've been doing, that's not a good sign. You just spoke a moment ago about crude oil. Look at this long-term up channel, and it took it out. So in, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, well, if it, I was looking at it as maybe time, maybe price, maybe a time and price on the consolidation side. We'll know a lot more by early next week, but I think we're getting close to some kind of a bounce. But I think, first of all, I have to treat it as a bounce. The technicals aren't yet in, this, in the area where I'm saying that it's a much bigger – that – we're starting a much bigger move to the upside. I just think we'll see a bounce. And to do to go with that, I'm I'm the actual the speaker. Let me show you over here. Special speaker meeting. This is the Boston Investors oh, um, great. Group. Yeah, this is going to be Wednesday. This coming Wednesday, 29th. It starts at seven. I'm the guest speaker, and it's over at MIT. It's E51, room 376, 70 Memorial Drive, Cambridge, Mass. Very easy to get to. And I'll be discussing the socioeconomic, political trends. We're looking at what, what, what the charts and the Chapman Wave are looking at. I'll discuss, again, the FANG stocks, which I've done many times over the past six months or so, saying, saying, saying that they're in a big consolidation. I'll be talking about financial, semis, dollar, gold, and many, many questions come. It's a really a great group because many are fundamentals, and I do technicals. So fundamentalists look at the, the, the theoretical side. And I try to do the tech, I do the x-ray of the patient. So it's, they give me questions that I have to, on the spot, try to figure out. It's always a lot of fun, a lot of people, and we really have a good time. So I'm looking forward to this. That's going to be great. And what, all, what always happens, folks, is that this is just so funny, too. I'm not saying it's a bad or a good thing, but in down markets, folks, fundamentalists stop paying attention to technical people. It's hilarious. When I, when I hear it, even I find a little bit on TV saying, oh, well, technically, this is going on. I'm saying to myself, they're not a tech, you know, they, 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 had, they hate technical analysis. They don't hate well, it, but if, you know what I'm saying? Do you it, remember how long it took the Wall Street Journal to actually put a chart in the Wall Street yeah, Journal? Yeah. And then Investors Business Daily was doing that back in the 80s. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll no, see no. what happens. Yeah, technical analysis is the x ray, the MRI of the patient. And you got to love it. And listen, folks, that's going to be uh, Wednesday, the 29th. Check it out. Check Basil out tomorrow. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a great long weekend. Thanks, man. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most